has built himself many structures, homes, churches, theaters. But no building in the long history of man houses so much magic, so much fantasy, and so much danger as a circus. Writers have had other passions, other obsessions. They have written of bullfighting, mountain climbing, hunting, fishing, love. But my passion, my obsession for half a lifetime has been the circus. This book is a testament to, a testament to this book I am writing is my testament to a fearless and gallant breed, the circus performer. Let's consider the circus artist, how strange, how remarkable he is. What special quality fills his soul and distinguishes him from other men? He welcomes danger, he courts it, plans it, he even invents it. And what strange thing lies buried in us, the onlooker, 
that makes us thrill and respond to his danger. But the big question we must answer is why do they do it? Why? Lamara, the greatest of them all. I have followed her halfway around the world, dazzled by her audacity, her utter fearlessness. Mara. What forces her to test her skill against the law of gravity? What crazy compulsion, day after day, drives her to tease the angel of death? Why does she do it? Why?
remember that night in Munich when Lamara added a new and breathtaking element to her tantalizing duel with death. Every heart in the audience stood still. sense of triumph over disaster. Yes, the triumph over death itself. This is the highest reward of a circus artist.